Okay, I have just um, I've just clambered over my feet. As you can see there, I flick that one down. It's easy enough. And I've just got into the back. Oh my goodness, it's so cold in the back. Like, let me turn the light on. Probably actually isn't that cold. Let's check. It is 16 degrees, but it was really it was really warm in the front. So I've just put I've just put the trimmer on and I am going to make myself. Oh, hang on. Let me first of all show you where I am. Um, it wasn't where I was going to go, but I wanted to stop. So I'm next to this little tiny church. <coughs> open my window it's probably because i'm on a slump that was really professional wasn't it it's got like a little tiny it's not even a it doesn't even look like a graveyard it's really strange it's a little tiny church with with like church grounds but no graveyard and normally I mean, you get a little graveyard next to it, don't you? But nothing, so... Um, I'm going to make pancakes in a minute, so... Uh, that'll be my lunch. Really healthy lunch, I guess. But Anyway. Um, I'm not going to stay here tonight. There's no signal whatsoever. Um, and I'm meeting Mark later, so... I've got a... I think I'm meeting him round about 8 o'clock, but might go earlier probably leave earlier it's pretty miserable here and probably should shut my window because it's letting all the cold air in and the truma um can you see that or not it's now blowing out warmer so that's good and when i start cooking it'll get warmer as well okay my new kettle. Okay, so what do I need? I need a plate. I need a frying pan. I need a jug. Spatula. I guess I need a spoon, right? Uh, spoon's huge. I think that's one of Mark's, you know? I need a spoon and I need um I need a knife to eat. Then I need the oil on oh here. Or oh, use a spray one instead then I guess. Okay. And then milk. Sourdough. I'm gonna use some. I'm gonna use some sourdough in my um, recipe. Instead, I'm just using flour and water. Golden syrup. Mm -mm -mm. Told you it was unhealthy. Okay. Right. It's starting to get warm now with that trimmer on. And then what I did. My egg in here. So, who does not love pancakes? Seriously. I used to cook my children pancakes all the time, even when it wasn't pancake day. going to give it a bit of a unique taste but I don't mind I can't even get it out some milk. And 
it's a bull car. You can hear the noise, it's Zebby at the front just uh, moving around. So what is your favourite topping for a pancake? Mine, unless you haven't already gathered, is the golden syrup. I think the trick is getting the right consistency. And what I tend to do, I tend to add too much water because I'm like, oh no, I can make that thinner, or milk, you know, I can make that thinner, and then it ends up too thin. flour all over my mouth. Everything moves with Prevalin so it's everything's shuffled down the van a bit. I'm getting pretty warm now. Just saying I knew I would. Um, okay, where did I put Where did I put the clicky thing? Where's it gone? The problem is if I don't put it away when I'm driving it flies off so if I forget and I leave it there then when I'm driving it flies off and normally ends on the floor and then I can't find it, and then I wouldn't have been able to light my... I wouldn't have actually been able to light the hob, would I? So that would have been really annoying. I'd have had to search around for it. This is my new kettle, because the other one broke. And then I got it and dropped it straight around the floor. So I was like, I can't believe that. I thought I'd, dropped, I thought I'd broken it straight away. I'm probably going to be absolutely boiling in a minute. Right, what do you think? Do you think for a consistency? It's probably okay. It smells a little bit soury. In fact, it looks, it looks more watery than it is. Still got bits of flour around the outside. Um, okay. Now to gauge whether I'm on a slant or not, because obviously if I'm on a slant then it's going to head that way. Let me just move you. Mm -hmm. Is that better? Can't even see that. You can't see the pancake now. Not that you really need to see a pancake. Now, in my opinion, the first pan can pancake never turns out right. Just my opinion, of course. I think what I need to do is uh, find my little... Oh, everything moves. Everything's moved, so I can't even move it back. I just need to find my little... See, what I'm looking for is you made this so it flips up, but I have one little stick that goes down there that stops it from falling, and I don't know where it is. So, um I thought it was probably up here with all these other sticks. 
And I've got so many random sticks. See, this is the stick. I wanted to show you the beauty of this. Perfect. And we're sticking that out. The camera can sit over here, you see? That was my plan had a plan see <laughs> it just extends the cooking area a little bit I haven't actually got the other light on I'm going to set the top off I'm going to have to turn the trimmer down I told you, it gets hot. And it's now at, so whatever the temperature it was before, it's now at 20 degrees, so. Yeah, it gets warm. It gets warm quickly, so. I really don't think that you want to watch me eat pancakes. Um, and I'll probably, I'll probably just eat them as I go, to be honest, as well. I'm one of these that really can't be bothered to wait and have a pile of them or anything. And there's no one else making me them while I eat them. So I tend to just stand and eat them. quite a busy road here which is weird because it's like I don't really think it goes anywhere anyway I'm gonna eat some pancakes probably gonna put the kettle on in fact I'll put the kettle on now put the kettle on and then make a cup of tea catch you in a minute okay so I just filmed a bit and for some reason it didn't record but anyway I've just made, I've just made my cup of tea, um, you know how to make a cup of tea, and I'm making more pancakes, but as you can see, the van windows are getting really steamed up, from the front on there, there's the bee, she, <laughs> so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the max fan on, uh, press that one it opens the vent and then it will start spinning and I've got that one on extract and then if it's not raining too much which it isn't today I tend to just open the window a little bit probably about that much and what that'll do is that'll take the air and it'll flow but if it is raining a lot then I'll come over to the one the fan above my bed and turn that one on and that one's on intake so it will cycle the air through the van and get rid of some of this condensation and steam so yeah anyway that's that's what I do um, you've got to combat combat that moisture somehow otherwise all that moisture is going to do is just sit in your van and we don't want that. Not a good thing. Anyway, a little bit windy. I do sometimes get a bit worried about the Max fans when the um, skylight opens, when the hood of it opens and it's really windy. But you can actually um, turn it on without opening that, which is really, really clever. So if it's torrential rain, which it's, it's never actually come in, but if it's really windy and you don't want to open the top hood risk of it being torn off um, then you can actually just put the fan on without that hood being open which I think is a really clever idea anyway I'll leave 
TV there so that I can uh, eat some more pancakes. I've obviously got a, a Truma boiler for my heating but one of the beauties of my Truma boiler is the fact that it's heating the air but it also heats up I've not asked it to but it heats up the water so I've now got hot water hopefully you can hear me over the top of the water but I've now got hot water to wash my dishes um, which is just um, a bonus in my opinion in the summer obviously in the summer I don't have the heating on um, but then I will if I need a bit of hot water I'll just use a bit from the kettle um, that I've boiled a bit extra so yeah I just thought I'd add that one um, I probably would I would I use it um, you know when I was deciding which heating system to go for I'm not sure if I would um, go for the Truma boiler again but the reason I chose the Truma in the first place was because I was going to have a shower in here and I obviously needed something to um, heat the water up for the shower. I then decided that I potentially didn't have enough room for a shower or, well, there was, there was enough room. It's just, I didn't want to um, take up the room in the van with a shower because it would have gone, it would have gone here and it would have been an enclosed space here, which I like. I like the fact that it's open. So yeah, hence why I decided not to build a shower, but I do have the shower tray. So if anybody does want a shower tray, the smallest one that you can buy on the internet, that's the one that I have. Um, so if anybody would like to buy it off me, um, let me know. And um if you have a van and you've built it yourself did you put a did you put a shower in or did you choose not to and um, what was your reasonings and for those of you that don't have a shower do you now wish that you did have one um the problem with my van as well the big problem with neville is the fact that he's not actually he's not got straight sides so um I don't, I don't know if you can tell from that angle, but you see it comes out here. This is actually an add-on. Um, the van is, I think, only supposed to be this high, but he's got an additional um, fiberglass roof. Um, I didn't have it done, but it is an add-on from the van that he was sort of built like. Maybe it was like... A, um, I don't know, when you buy the van it's like, oh, would you like this, can't leave it, but the neat thing about that, so yeah, it has caused problems, but one of the cool things about that, just drying my hands a minute, is the fact that, oh, please ignore my bed, because of that, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but I've got this shelf up here, so the, the van doors only come to here, um, and this is the add-on which then means I have a shelf whereas most people that have a high top van which is what this is they won't have that bit there because their doors will go all the way to the ceiling so that's just a really nice extra bit of storage that I really like and it's just, um, because it's next to my bed obviously it can house, house a whole host of things um, yeah it has been everything's been taken off it because I have a, had a small leak at that side over there somewhere there over there looks like I'm pointing in the right direction yeah um, Mark has sealed up there was a hole anyway Mark sealed it up for me and it doesn't appear to be leaking but I couldn't put anything back on there because I needed to check anyway I've washed my pots Apart from my pan. Why? I always forget the pan. So 
so as I was saying, I've washed my pots. I think I'm going to go for um, a little look around that church and I'll take you with me. Um, we'll just go and have a look. Go see, find out what the name of it is. I think it is like um, still an acting church, servicing church. What do you call it when a church is still um, being used? A used church? Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I'll Google it and if I find out the answer, I'll uh, pop it in. But I'm going to go and have a look. I'm probably going to take Zeb with me, but I'm going to leave Dylan because Dylan just gets so messy so quickly. And he'll then bring it back in my van. And I don't particularly want that. So, yeah. Catch you in a minute. Well, that was a bit of a squeeze trying to get free there. Um, I'd park so close to the van, so, well, so close to the head, anyway. Um, I've got my dry rose on because it's pretty disgusting. Um, left Dylan in the van, like I said, because he would just get soaked. So, Emmett's Methodist Church. Wisedale. So yeah, it looks Sunday service 2 p.m. All oh, welcome. Oh, although, um, it doesn't look very active. Hmm, I'm not so sure to be honest. I want to take my hood down, but I'm going to get wet. And this is all very overgrown. I wonder if it is actually open or not. Gone all the way round. Can't see in because it's got a frosted glass, so. Hmm. I thought I might have seen something a bit more interesting than that. Oh, that was obviously from the, the glass down there. Oh. Well, that's not very interesting, is it? So, yeah. It does say all welcome 2pm, but... Um, oh, shut the gate. I'm not so sure. Yeah, okay. That was a bit boring. Let's get going, back to the van. People around here with high vision. Well, Debbie, that wasn't very interesting, was it? Oh, I'm getting drenched. Oh, I am getting drenched. Squeeze back in now. Come on, Zeb. Come on, Debbie. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get caught on the bushes as I go past. Come on, Zeb. There's Dylan. Stay there, Dill. Come on, Zeb. Stay there, Dill. Okay, come on, Zeb, in. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then, problem is, this is what happens because my van is not straight. It leaks in. When you, when you open the door. Never mind. Wipe it all off. Debbie, you got your lead on, come on. You need your lead taking off. <laughs> Debbie, come here. You're a daft dog because... Right, go back in there. Are you getting back in, Dill? You getting in your bed? They can just about both <laughs> sit in there together. <laughs> Good job they're friends, isn't it? Oh. 
might make another cup of tea. Oh my goodness, I'm so wet. I'm so wet. Anyway, I'm going to make another cup of tea, I think. Ugh. Steam back up again now, look, because I um, turned the fan off. Anyway, <laughs> make another cup of tea.